there's a stoicism quote, and I love stoicism. We've got into the last couple of years, we've been sort of talking about it on the podcast, but it's all about deeds, not words. Deeds, not words. Like actions, not words. Like if you are the greatest, well, prove it then. Like, like just do it. Just like Ryan said, if you are the greatest, other people will be your voice box, the voice for you. You won't need to say it because people will just talk about you, about it, because you are great at what you do. And I think, oh my God, I'm just getting chills talking about that. That is something that really resonates with me, Brian, when you said that. Because um, there's another book I read called The Four Agreements, and I don't know if anyone's read it, so thank you so much in the TikTok, because um, I've got Blue saying, um, you know, defending some of the stuff in there, which is great. But in The Four Agreements, um, there's, it talks about that the words are spells. Like, so if you, if you speak them, then you know, that actually does have some sort of effect. But you've really, not only if you, like if you say I'm the greatest, and you wholeheartedly believe it, and you put the action in place to, 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 to fulfill it, then you're more likely to do it. But if you just say the words, but there's no real actions, or like Ryan says, there's nothing behind it to back it up, then you're just deluding yourself. Um, and so the four agreements talks about that. And again, Ryan talked about another thing, which really, really I found really resonant with me, is that, you know, if someone goes into it, I'm the greatest, yeah, people are gonna, you know, gonna judge straight away and we are we talked about we don't want to judge right so you know if someone said that in the room i'd want to try and say well okay, let's give them the benefit of doubt go do it show me then i would love to see some evidence of this greatness um because you could be there could be someone who says i'm going to and they are good they're absolutely great um so i suppose there's a a little bit of if someone says it not an instant roll my eyes oh here we go you know but actually okay well you say you're going to be the greatest well let's see it then Let, let's let's see what this is because what i wouldn't want to do is undermine someone who i suppose who, who does has that has that aspiration no again I, I say when i coach people when and they say to you they want to achieve this goal i always talk when i train coaching out i say don't judge that if someone says they want to do x then run with it all you do to do as a coach is sense, get them to sense check it and say what are the actions they're putting in place to do that. So it really links lovely into that type of, you know, you want to be the greatest? Well, okay, well, scale of one to 10, you want to achieve it by X, you know, how confident are you, right? If it's a five, then you're not really confident. What, what needs to happen? What have you done? What haven't you done? If it's an eight, what have you done? What can you do differently to get it to a 10, right? So those are the sorts of questions. Um, that I would ask if I was coaching would say if they said they wouldn't be the greatest at something we need to sense check that and there needs to be some sort not me judging but I would they would need to look at it themselves so there's no self-delusion uh -huh.